Hello there, today I'm going to be showing you how to make terrain in UEFN. So this is very, very new stuff, like this came out a couple hours ago, and so I'm going to get wrong a lot of things. I'm going to still try to do this. Let's begin. Alright, let's head up to the top corner, and we're going to select the landscape mode. And now we get all these options. So we're going to head over to the manage, because this map does not have any landscape. So let's start... Um, with a bunch of the settings and just I recommend keeping the material um, am I creative what it already is set to by default this is like the normal material and don't do not click fill map because this crashes my game this is me in the future I hit create and it's it's gonna take forever it's gonna crash my game all right it has crashed my game and I'm back here I did it again but I didn't fill up the whole map this time and it works and we have a large um, flat landscape area. We're gonna utilize all the new tools to create some terrain. I'm just gonna showcase everything. And we're gonna start with the sculpt tool, which lets you mess with like height and stuff. You can just use a brush. It's similar to Minecraft's um, world edit. And this is the like similar to that brush. And you can make a bunch of random bits of terrain. So there's four different types of brush falloffs. So we have the smooth falloff right here, and then we have the sharp falloff. So it's gonna be a sharper um, form. And the next up is the um, curvular falloff, the circular one. And it's gonna be more circular. It's spherical. It, um, it's kind of a little bit of a circular form. And then lastly, you have the tip which is just like a sharp fall off. You can use it to make like plateau-like shapes. They're all pretty similar. You'll get a feel for them as you go along. Each of the brushes has a tool strength, so you can determine how strong the actual brush is. And then you also have the fall off. So if I were to set this really low, it's just gonna make a sharp edge and you don't want that. You do not want that at all. So we're gonna set, bring up the brush fall off a little bit. It's still going to be pretty sharp, so the higher it is, the less sharp the fall off is. I recommend keeping it really high if you're trying to make playable terrain. Alright, now we have the erase function, which will just basically erase any of the terrain features you have, and it'll bring it down to the default level of the actual terrain you placed. So the landscape that we like place, it, it, it'll just bring it down to that level, no matter where it was. That's It's that simple. If you want to flatten the landscape less than like actually erasing it, we can have the we have the flatten tool, which actually like lets you flatten the land. So here we have some nice little mountains, and we want to flatten this up a little bit. We can use the flatten tool, and we click somewhere else like the level that you want the less the rest of the train to go. And wherever you click, and you drag wherever you want it, and it'll make it to that exact Y level that you set. And it's really nice. The next tool is smooth. And this will just generally smooth the terrain features instead of flattening it completely, which lets you make more playable terrain and less in, like insane peaks. It can help with controlling the levels throughout your terrain and it can make more walkable areas. All right, next up is the ramp tool, which lets you create ramp-like structures. You can click uh, two different points to create these little points. You can move them with the widgets and you could use these to create nice little ramps. And you can also set the side fall off. And I recommend setting it really high because if you set it low, you're going to get a ridiculously steep edge. After you've moved the two points to your heart's content, you can hit add ramp and you have a ramp. If you increase, uh, um, actually sorry, decrease the side fall off, it's just going to go ridiculously sharp edges, which you likely do not want. So let's we'll create another ramp and um, I'll show you another thing. Alright, and now we have a nice um, smoother ramp and you notice how ridiculously flat one of the edges is and we can fit that by, fix that by using to, like smooth and tool and now we can just smooth out the edge and now you have a nice little ramp. Next up we have the erosion tool which just lets you mess with the terrain and erode it. It's not amazing, but you can do make things look a little bit more natural. And there's multiple er erosion modes. And it's really, really messy. I don't recommend using it that much, but um, you, after you use it, I recommend just smoothing things out if you want um, that nature-like feel. There's a couple of modes with the erosion, and that's like both lower and raise, and I don't know what they do. 
Next up is Hydro, which simulates water erosion. And so I'm going to create some additional terrain real quickly so I can really showcase you. Alright, and now we have some hills, and we can use, um, let me smooth it real quickly, and we can use the Hydro tool to be able to, like, water erosion. It's minor changes overall, it doesn't do crazy amount of changes, it's just, like, fine details. It's less about the overall shape and more about the small, fine details. Skipping visibility because I struggle to use it, we're going to work on Mirror. Mirror is an interesting tool. It lets you mirror the terrain of an island. And so we're going to copy the stuff on the left to um, the right. And with everything that, um, everything, as of right now, I could just hit apply. But you can use, you can just type in numbers or drag it left and right to be able to change where the mirror point is on the island. And once you're happy with where the mirror point is, you can hit apply. And if you don't like it, um, control Z and try it again. All right, so we hit apply and now we have a mirrored version of the map. It just mirrored literally everything. It mirrors everything on the side without the arrow um, to the side with the arrow. Next up is the selection tool, which lets you select pieces of terrain and it lets you avoid them when messing with other tools. So I can try to flatten it and it will just not work on the selected area. And then you can clear the region selection with this button. Now the copy tool is quite confusing, but what we can do is we can use the selector tool, select a region, and then we hit copy, copy it to a gizmo. And then um, we could move the gizmo on selection and then you move the actual gizmo itself. And it's basically just like a cutout for the area I'm pretty sure and then you can use the terrain tools and it will form around the cutout. Now we're going to be painting things in the paints tab and we can literally just paint things the color that's shown towards the bottom of the scroll menu and you always have the other typical stuff like brush, brush strength and like area and then we have a couple of options and that, that, this one right here is like a sand, and we can place it down, it's similar to like the chapter 2 sand. And you can just kind of place it around. Brush fall off works as you expect it to, and so if you set it up to a higher fall off, it'll have more of a transition between the different materials. Now obviously we can mess around with these paints for all day but I have um, more things to cover and let's get into liquids. All right, we're gonna do a river. So head down to the content drawer in the bottom left corner, head to Fortnite environment, and then head down to water. And then we're gonna grab river and we're gonna wanna drag it out and place it, uh, place it where they want the head of the river to be. And then to actually access the different nodes in the um, in in the river, um, so you right click on the points to actually be able to um, to actually be able to move the spine points, and so you can move them as you wish, up, down, left, right, wherever, and the terrain around it will uh, move to adjust for it. And you right click on the points to select the other points. And we can move it and now it's going down and now we have a nice little river if you want to be able to see the water uh, you can visualize the water um, view and you can right clicking on them creates you can right click and create more nodes and be able to make more windy rivers and now we're gonna go over lakes which should be easier all right now we're gonna do a lake we're gonna head to the content drawer and we're gonna take the same path Fortnite and Fortnite environment water and then we're going to click lake and drag it out. And now we have a nice little lake. Look at that. And similar to the river, right click each of the nodes. Um, you just click, you just click on the lake. Unlike the river, just click on the lake. You have to be in selection mode. Um, you click the lake and then you you have to right click each node to get the widget to actually um, be able to move each of these nodes. And then you can just move them to wherever you want them to be. The lake is that simple. There's not much else to it. We can right click, create duplicate point, and now we have another node, which we can use to adjust the lake. Also able to right click, and we can set the node to um, 
allow a linear curve, which will make more jagged straight lines in your lake, which I don't know if you want that, but it's an option. I don't currently know of a way to be able to adjust the, um, high, um, the depth of the lake, but that shouldn't be that big of a deal because the like you can't swim underwater right now. Now it's time for the ocean. Just head down to the bottom, Fortnite, um, environment, water, and now we can bring out the ocean. Though be careful, this thing can destroy your map. Like look at this, just destroyed the map. So by undoing the damage, we can realize how the ocean actually works. And so by adjusting these points, these points determine where the land is, not the ocean. And so you have to bring these points to where you want there to be actually land, which is super nice. In the water tap, there's also a swimming pool, although I have not really found much that it can actually do. It's just a little small tile of water. I hope you all have enjoyed this terrain tutorial and I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave it down below. I will try my best to answer them. Please note that this stuff is still very, very new. So um, I might not know everything, but hopefully other people do too as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I normally don't ask and I spent a while on this when I could have just been like building. So I hope you all enjoy. Thank you. Bye.